Okay, so what's good everyone? Welcome back. I'm NLG and today I'm going to be giving you loot prio, <clears throat> how I would uh, prioritize what items I want out of Old War and, how, and what I'm going to do. Um, as always, weak horse, key binds, all that bullshit in the description, in the top comment, some, something like that. Make sure you go look at that first. Uh, but let's get started. I don't want to, I don't want this to take all day. Um, so first things first is flare. Flare is very important. It's a 252 item level that makes it basically ICC tier trinket. Um, I think flare is actually better than the one trinket out of TOC, uh, TOGC 25. Uh, that reign of the dead trinket. This is the non-heroic version. The heroic version is actually a 258 item level, but I think that flare is actually better than that. Uh, reason being is highly contested. Um, you need your double proc trinkets, in my opinion. And mo more than likely, you're going to use it until ICC, depending on uh, what they fucking buff or whatever for tier 9. Uh, next thing is going to be your ring. So this is off of Memron. The reason that you're a firefighter 25, the reason that you're going for this next over something like Star Shard Edge is because this ring is very, very highly contested and very hard to get. Um there are also not very many rings in tier 9 that are available um the ones that are available are this one here uh this is usually you go with this ring as well as conductive seal at 239 item level you take that into into icc uh but as you can see this is a fucking healer trinket and this just isn't even that good uh some people argue that nebula band at 226 is a little better than this i don't think so um but yeah this ring conductive seal is definitely gonna last you till icc uh so yeah i just picked that up second next one is going to be your star shard edge uh reason being is that it's a weapon so you need your fucking weapon uh reason it's a little lower than uh nax prio um where i had turning tide first is just because there's actually a really good weapon in 10 man uh it's called ice core staff um but as you can see with the updated item level on star shard edge it's it's basically uh equivalent to a togc 25 weapon um this isn't your bis but this is basically the almost the equivalent of star shard edge in t in togc um but yeah i would definitely just pick up your weapon third fourth is going to be your grass reason um reason you're getting this is it's for xt hard mode xt hard mode is current it just got nerfed but it's one of the harder hard modes i would say that uh it's usually one of those items that people are always uh are always going into toc without um there could be an argument that you wouldn't need this that badly just because the toc uh boes the craftable bracers are all are just about as good as this um but this is also the thing about these bracers is that they're practically the exact same thing as your tier 9 bis <laughs> and um i'm pretty sure that you use the that you use the what is these bindings of the ash and saint i'm pretty sure you use these into um a, as icc bis until ruby sanctum comes out i could be wrong <laughs> Uh, usually private servers die right around ICC release, but yeah, uh, I would pick up grass for reason next Next one's gonna be your pull your Pharaoh's gloves Pharaoh's gloves are also really good um, it's also a uh, Highly contested item one thing is that kind of gives you prio over other classes is that it's haste It is a haste um, heavy item so like a fire mage can usually, or, or a boomkin can usually make an argument like, hey, this is a crit heavy item. Let's say that this had, I don't know, 50 haste and then like 90 crit. Yeah, I, I would definitely say that that should go to a, ma a fire mage or a boomkin or even an Ellie shaman first. Um, but in this case, this is, I, I would say that this is uh, arguably, it should go to your affliction warlocks first. Um, the reason it's not that high up and i know it is algamon loot it's also kind of difficult to get the reason it's not that uh high up is because you can get these really good ones from algalon 10 man and then the vendor also has um 232 gloves that are going to be better than your uh current tier 7 bis 
And there's also ones that drop off Cola Garn, I believe. They, they, it's like Spirit Haste. They're kind of shit, but like, I mean, you may as well just pick them up um, until you get Pharaohs. <laughs> but yeah, fifth on the list is going to be Pharaohs. Uh, next item is going to be your Algalon uh, quest item. Reason that this isn't that high up, even though it's difficult to get, is because you can also you can always just get the ten man one. Um, the problem with you getting this cloak, and you probably won't, you may not even get this cloak until very late into Uluar, maybe even TOC, is uh, this cloak is a quest item that's shared with art armor penetration users. So that's like ferals, hunters, all that shit, rogues. Um, all of them should be getting the quest item before you, regardless of what you know your loot system is or whatever. And then the other thing is that in tier nine, there's a ton of cloaks that are very good. Um, so there's this cloak, there's the non-heroic version of this, there's the tribute chest cloaks. Um, all those are very are going to be better than this cloak. And even the fact that pennant is also still really good. Um, so yeah, six on my list is going to be the Algolan quest cloak. Uh, next one's going to be your Iron Council hard mode necklace. This is... Um, this is a very good necklace, but the thing is, you're not really contesting it with anybody. Um, Iron Council Hard Mode is one of those bosses where your guild is probably going to wipe on it a bunch. Um, it is, but but it's also like the beginning of your progression. Um, so you're probably going to end up farming this more than most of the other hard modes. Um, just because the key is so necessary. Um... The reason this isn't higher up is again you're not sharing it with a lot of people and then there's some really good 10 man versions uh or 10 man uh trade-offs that you could get although they are 239 item level um i think this is from this is from thorm and then this is from iron council 10 man hard mode and then 10 man's a joke so next item is going to be your boots of fiery resolution so this drops off flame Viathan. uh these boots are really good but the boss is really easy so it's not too big of a deal if you don't get <coughs> one of these first. Um, you also have the crafted boots that it's competing with, as well as the Arcanic Tramplers that you already have. Um, if you just use Arcanic Tramplers, you're probably losing like 30 spell power, 40 spell power, some shit like that. Uh, not too big of a deal. But eventually, these, these BOE boots are going to be very <coughs> cheap and accessible, and they're even going to be on all of your alts and whatnot. Um... So I put the boots really low on Pryo. Next item is gonna be your tier legs. Now, tier legs are actually incredibly important. You have to have your two-piece early if you wanna do any damage in Ulduar. It is so fucking important to get your two-piece. And your two-piece is going to be the legs and the chest. Um, you can make a set out of chest, or you can make a set out of legs and shoulders, but um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even bother with that. Um, I would just give those shoulders to someone else whose actual bis it is. But the reason this is a lot lower is that you can get this get this from 10-man. Um, a, a lot of you guys love running 10-man, so, you know, just get some group where you can actually pick up these pants. Um, and then also, Freya 25 normal mode is very easy, so it's not like... And you can get them from Vault. You can get them from a <coughs> VOA as well. So, I wouldn't shit your pants if you don't get these uh, the first week or whatever, but... Just know that your your damage is going to fucking uh, be missing a lot if you don't get these early. Next item is going to be your Algalon belt. Um, these stats are dog shit. I kind of explained that already. The only reason that you really use this belt is because you don't need the hit rating from crafted belt, but um, the 250 and, and as well the the 252 item level kind of pull it over everything else. Um, and you don't really have any other good options. Like, you don't need the hit rating on this, and then you don't... This is just so low item level, and it's spirit heavy. It's not necess It's not really haste or spell power heavy. It doesn't have a socket. Two yellow sockets with a seven spell power socket bonus is actually really nice, because you can throw two reckless in there, and then uh, socket bonus, your just straight 19 spell power. Um... But main reason that this belt drops off of the Algalon, so I would just, at the very least, I would put it kind of high into your, prior, into your priorities. Uh, next one is going to be Iron Mender. So this is actually, this actually doesn't drop that often, but most people, when it comes to Affliction Warlocks, are not going, they're going to all try and go for Cosmos. So as long as you have this as your BIS, and you say it's your BIS to your raid team, and nobody else except for the Resto Druid, 
is saying it's their abyss, you'll probably just get it, hand it to you, like, right after the Resto Druid. Um, I don't suspect that a lot of people are going to be running my build. Um, obviously, I recommend it, but... Um, you know, maybe you get this to drop two weeks in a row and, you know, fuck it. You already got it. Um, but again, you're only probably going to only share this with a resto druid. So kind of low prio and, uh, matriarch spawn out of Nax is the same stats. So it's not like, it's not that crazy if you don't have it. Uh, next time is going to be your helmet. So this is off of razor scale. This is a normal mode boss. So it's not that hard to get, uh, hence why it's so low. Um, there's also a very good helmet from uh, Ten Man that I would I would also pick up. Um, the this helmet actually does a little bit better, but the hit rate you can actually utilize this hit rating. Um, I was I was very close to just putting this as the set and then using the Boe belt as my bis, but there is you know when it comes to item level and whatnot you don't want to go too far under and trade off too many stats um so technically if you already have if you're way over hit rating you can use this helmet and it is going to be higher higher damage uh but once you get the full set of your bis you're going to be using this collar of worm hunter and it doesn't drop that often so i've definitely picked this up uh decently early uh, next time is going to be your conch chest. Uh, conch chest is not that contested because you can get right off the fucking vendor, um, and you, that's the only thing that you really need from the vendor. So just use your first 60 badges or whatever just to pick up your conch chest if you haven't gotten it from 10 man, or if you haven't gotten it from uh, 25 man. I would say just get it out of the way. I think it can even drop from uh, vault too. Next time is going to be your dying curse. So this is the last item when it comes to 25 man stuff. Uh, when it comes to your abyss, dying curse is the last 25 man item. You probably already have this, but I just wanted to list this last. Um, the next few items are going to be 10 man, and loot priority usually doesn't even uh, go into 10 or like you know you're, you're not going to have the same fucking loot rules or whatever in 10 man. Um, so I just kind of listed them last, but definitely make sure you have Dying Curse if you want to use my build. Having double proc trinkets as well as um, the other pieces it, it, early on until you get the other pieces, you're probably going to be a little under hit cap and you, you're going to want this hit rating from Dying Curse. Uh, so now this is the 10 man section. Again, I don't expect you to fucking have some kind of like <laughs> super complicated loot system for fucking 10 man. If you do, then, you know, you can use this, I guess. But the way that I want to uh, explain how I look at 10 man, I look at 10 man and I see, okay, how do I clear this instance with the least amount of people that are going to roll against me? And how do I keep the 10 man from being like 15 fucking hours, right? So like, let's say you want to do Algalon 10. Okay, you don't really need a Shadow Priest. I mean, you can't like... You, you know, you can just bring another tank and have him do the fucking Algalon, uh, you know, if you one or two phase or whatever, you can just do shit like that, you know, have him proc, your, proc his Ardent. Uh, 10 man's a little bit easier than 25 man when it comes to your comp. Um, but regardless, um, first thing that is the most important in 10 man is getting your wand. This wand is bis until ICC. Um, if you look at the stats of the other, other two wands, these wands aren't really close. Um, you can pick up this Vezex wand just as a G whiz until you get your 10 man wand. It's, it's, you know, you're going to be missing hit rating. You're not going to have the full spell power, but it's decent. You know, it has a lot of haste on it. It has a lot of spell power, but it's really that socket and the fact that it doesn't have spirit. And then this is just to show you that from 25 man, this is the only wand that drops in tier nine. So, and this is the heroic 10 man version of it. So you can see like. You need to pick up your fucking Freya 10 man wand. Um, next thing is going to be your ring. So Nebula Band is also is very good, but you're not going to be, to be honest, 10 man or, <coughs> or tier nine rather is not that hard of, of a tier. So if you don't, if you're missing a, a few of these pieces, it's not too big of a deal. I would definitely just pick up a weapon at least, conductive seal at least, um, your two piece, and then a few of the Algalon pieces uh something something like nebula band if you don't have it going into tier nine not not a big deal at all i mean you're gonna replace this 
as soon as you start tier 9 anyway, um, I would say that your Warlocks should be getting the tier 9 258 ring before healers. Um, but, you know, people probably aren't going to agree with me there. Um, but yeah, just make sure that you look... It, it, this, this, looking at the stats... Um, it may even be BIS until ICC, so maybe it has a little bit higher priority. I would still go for the wand first, um, and then make sure you look at this ring. Um, and then the very last item is going to be your shoulders from 10 man. So, Yogg plus one in 10 man is very easy. Um, there's not a lot of people that need this as their BIS. I think it's just Shadow Priest as BIS for maybe Resto Druid. Um, but again, just pick up a pick a group where you're not going to be rolling against half the fucking country, um, and you know it, it's ten man loot. Like I said, this definitely has a higher priority than some of the twenty five man items I listed earlier. But um, again, the the ten man stuff just has to be separated. Um, and then if you don't manage to get these shoulders for a while, you can always just pick up the the tier shoulders because eventually nobody's going to need these tier shoulders. And if you look at the stats, it's really not that far behind. Um, you probably lose, like I said, probably like 40, 40 50 spell power. Um, not too big of a deal. But yeah, that's everything. Um, hope you enjoyed. I didn't mean to make this too long, but you know, I tried to go as fast as I could. Um, again, if you need weak wars, keybinds, all that bullshit, make sure you check out my Discord, check the top comment. Um, and I'll have a bunch of videos coming out pretty soon, I think. I think. But yeah, thanks for watching and have a good one.